Okay, to install it on a desktop, all you do is go to the store, search for to-do. You'll see a lot of them out there, but you'll see there's Microsoft to-do. Make sure you select that one because it's available on not only Microsoft desktop, it's on Android and iOS and even Windows phones. So once you have it installed, you simply click on your name and you go to the settings and you can change your theme and you can even import tasks from Wonderlist. Now here it is on the Google Play. Again, it's on here in iTunes and of course the Windows Store for Windows phones. You just go in here and download it to your system or to your phone. So once you have it installed, you uh, of course click on uh, install from here or in this case I have it already installed so it says open. Once you go there, you have it on your, your phone and you can configure this on your desktop or on your phone we're going to go through the instructions on the desktop version. So when you first open up, it's pretty blank here. There's my day, no task, no nothing. But I'm going to click down here on tasks. And I'm going to say, I'm going to create a task. And uh, you just start typing. Uh, this one, I'm going to do Whole Foods. Now I'm doing this by store. Uh, we do it at several stores. You get uh, certain things from this store, certain things from that store. You can just put in here one list that says groceries if you want. Uh, now, over here, you can customize the color of your theme and everything for that particular um, thing. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, I won't delete it. I'll just leave it the way it is. But that's how you delete a list. So you go here and you start typing. And I want to put in chips. And we get these C8 lime chips from Whole Foods. Uh, and then I just go ahead and uh, do another item, butter. Now, you can do this in any order. It doesn't have to be alphabetical. I'll show you later, later on how, to, how we sort and all that. So once you've added a few items here, uh, you can either finish it or you can go on. I'll just go ahead and skip here uh, after this. Let me uh, finish this. So uh, now all we have to do is go over here and say add another list. And type in and this one. I'm going to do uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Get our toothpaste and stuff there. And do exactly the same thing we did uh, for Whole Foods. Just click on it and add a task to uh, this list. So here I am uh, a little bit later. I've had several lists here, and uh, I'm ready to go on to uh, uh, actually using the list. So now I've moved over to a dark version on a different system just to show you. But here's the same list. And uh, just to show you how to use the uh, sorting. And right now it says it's added to my, to my day. That's yes, how it's sorted. Uh, it's not really important. But let's go over here to the three buttons and we'll look here. And you can see the types of sorting. We're going to use alphabetically. You're going to use that most of the time. So you can do it alphabetically. Uh, you can do it regular A, B to A to Z. We'll click on it to Z to A. Makes it easier to find some stuff. Uh, you can do it by completing some other things, but this is what we're going to use. So here I am back on the other system, and that's because I'm going to share uh, from this system. I'm going to make, create an invite. And you can right click on a list and say share list. You can do that. You can do it with the three ellipsis buttons in the top right. But here it is here, and the list of people that are already shared, if you do that. You can copy this link and just send it through a clipboard to an email or use the built-in sharing uh, in Windows. Okay, here's the email list of all the emails I sent to join these lists. And as you can see, uh, there's a link inside of the email that allows you to click on it. And you'll see this pop up. It'll launch to the to-do list. It says who sent you the invitation and to what list. You simply click on it. And guess what happens? It imports it right here to your existing lists. And it adds it uh, here at the bottom. Now I've gone in here and sorted all these alphabetically so they're easy to find. So if I click on any list, uh, uh, I can just browse down the list to see what I want to use. Now, normally in a task list, you use the mark hands off as completed. We're not going to use that functionality here. For example, what you normally would do is you click on an item and say, oh, it's completed, and it's marked as completed, and uh, you don't have to worry about it again. 
as a matter of fact, uh, instead of marking all these, you would have uh, your flag over here set up to hide them once they're completed. But we're leaving that alone so everything stays in view. Instead of that, we're going to go ahead and go back over here. Let me activate this one again. Instead of using that, we're going to use the importance flag here. So we're going to go here to the list and each one of these in this list and check certain ones. There's one uh, right there. And we scroll around to somewhere else in that list. Or actually, we can just simply go over here to a different list uh, down there. Let me look at Whole Foods. Go there. If I scroll down here, you see I've marked some here, uh, some chips up here. So we're going to do that. And you'll see over here in the importance, that number will change depending upon how many you have marked. So let's watch this in action. Uh, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to use the importance uh, flag over here. Click on that. You'll notice that on the left-hand side, the importance uh, flag number is changing. It's going back to 5 now. So as I check things on different lists, it adds it to the importance list. If I click here, you'll see that they're listed here and which list that they're on. So you're at the store, and you're ready to uh, pick up this item. So you click on it here because they have it, and you put it in your basket. You click on here, and it says Remove from Importance. You click on it, and the total is going down. It's no longer there. Now be careful, because if you click on the wrong one, you're going to have to go back into the list to find it, to put it back on the list. But fortunately, there's a search functionality built in, so all you have to do is go up to the search icon, click there, and then type in a few characters of what you're looking for. And it will return a result across all of your list of uh, items that match that. And all you got to do is find the one that you uh, deleted or one you want to add. Uh, click on those and uh, add them to the list. So that's how you use it on a desktop or wherever you're at. But let's take a look at it on a mobile device and then look at it on both at the same time. Okay, as I showed before, here it is on the uh, Android test phone. We fire it up and go over to the importance screen and there they all are. So let's take a look at it. Here it is, Eggs Omega 3. Okay, and here's two phones. One's a Windows phone, one's a uh, Samsung and Android phone. And we're going to watch what happens when I click on the important star here on the eggs. Okay. Now, if uh, let me adjust a little bit. Here, as soon as I click on it and go down here, boom, it's gone from both phones almost instantaneously, even over just wireless settings. Or not wireless, but uh, over cellular. A quick note here, if you want to add something while you're out and about, you can search for it here on your list, but you can also click on the hamburger menu up here, and your main menu will appear and where you can go ahead and use the search functionality there to find what you want. Come down here, and uh, it'll be under eggs. And there it is. Now I'm going to click on it and watch the phone on the left. If I click on it. Boom, it's back to that phone, and sure enough, if I go back up here, there it is, synced on the screen as well. So there you have it, a shared shopping list using the built-in functionalities in the Microsoft To-Do List. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.